kids. Welcome to all the kids from across the province too. This is kind of a cool Sunday that you get to join us. And the reason that kids from across the province are joining us today is that there are pastors from all over BC in the Penticton Church. So welcome. It's good to be with you again. And it's good to be studying about the book of Acts still. Acts of the Apostles. It's the purple book in the New Testament. You remember the purple books in the Old Testament were the books of history in the Old Testament. And this is the, books, the book of history in the New Testament. And it gives amazing stories. Remember the story we heard last two weeks ago? It was about Jesus going up, 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 up into the sky. And before he left, he said, make sure you wait. God's sending you a present. God is sending you the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then all the disciples, they went and they waited. And sure enough, bang, the Holy Spirit came and filled all of them. Remember those stories? They're so cool. Okay, so now this is what happens after the Holy Spirit came. He came and he helped all the disciples and we sometimes call them apostles, those, those 12 that were G with Jesus. And he helped them in really, really amazing ways. I don't know if you remember two guys, they were called Peter and John. Well, one day they were walking along to the temple and just walking along their merry old way on their way to go and pray at the temple. And there was a man sitting and he had bad legs and he had been crippled since he was born he couldn't use his legs properly and he was sitting and he held out his palm this is part of your hand is called the palm and he asked for an alm and this is what Peter and John said to him an alm is when you're asking for money for the poor it's for money for poor people so he must have been poor because he couldn't walk so he couldn't have a job I guess so he held out his palm and he asked for an alm. And Peter and John looked at him and they said, Well, we don't have any silver or any gold, but what we have, we will give to you. The Holy Spirit showed them that they could make this guy walk again. So they said, Hold on to my hands, look out. And they held him up by his hands. He had never walked since he was born. And he stood up and he stood up and his legs got stronger and stronger and he started walking. And you can just imagine, he was so excited about walking. I think up until then, he probably saw everybody's knees and their up and maybe up to their belt, but he never saw people straight in their face. So imagine how excited he was. He was walking and leaping, it says in the Bible, and praising God. Leaping is like jumping. He was walking and jumping and praising God. Now, this is the story. It is found, it is found in big number three. And if you look for little number three, you'll see. This is the story about the beggar that was standing by the gate. He was begging for money. He saw Peter and John. So you can underline or color in these, these verses. Uh, you can start with verse number one if you want to all the way past verse number three, four, where Peter looked at him. And, and then verse six, Peter said, I don't have any money, but such as I have, I will give to you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Arise, get up and walk. We're going to learn that song in Sunday school. It's going to be very fun. And it goes all the way, the story goes all the way to the end of little number 10. So it's this whole section in your Bible that you can color in if you want to. So we're going to do a fun game today. That's going to, we're going to be acting like the man that just got to walk. Walking and leaping. And what it's called is hopscotch. I think you guys did it before, but we're going to do it in another room. So Greg's, Greg is the guy that's always taking these videos. Did you know that? Thank you, Pastor Greg. And he's going to follow me in the other room and we're going to do some hopscotch. Just hey guys, remember the guy that was walking and leaping, jumping? Okay, so this is hopscotch and you have to have 10 squares. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the first person that's playing, they throw it and they land it on, oh, 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 I have to have another turn. And you land, try to land it on number one. There, okay? So if you land on number one, then you start there. And then you jump with one foot, one foot in the air like a flamingo. Oh. One, and two feet apart, and then one, two, one, one, and then you have to turn around on one foot and go all the way back. Okay, like that. Whoop, 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 whoop. And if you make it all the way, you pick it up and you give somebody else a turn, or you can try to go to the second one if you're playing by yourself. Try to go to the second block. Then you start here, and then you leap over there. Oh, he was walking and leaping and praising God. That's how that is with hopscotch. Have fun playing. Bye-bye.